Hello, and welcome to this App Studio how-to video. This video shows you how to work with style sheets using the Change Theme, Manage Theme, and Save Theme features. Style sheets apply color, fonts, and formatting to your reports. The theme features are available on the Report tab in the Style group. Click Manage Theme. In the Style Sheet Selection dialog box, you can include a style sheet apply an external cascading style sheet for HTML output, embed a style sheet, or apply the default web focus style sheet. Notice that the Include Style Sheet file area automatically shows the default style sheet. In this example, it is called enwarm. From the Include Style Sheet file toolbar, click the Add New Item button. In the Open File dialog box, select the Predefined Template Files folder. Notice that style sheets have an extension of .sty. Select enbluetheme.sty and click OK. If the style sheet is not in the same folder as the report, the system prompts you to copy the style sheet to that folder. Notice that the blue theme style sheet now appears highlighted in the Include Style Sheet file area of the Style Sheet Selection dialog box. The last selected style sheet has precedence in the report. So in this example, the blue theme has precedence over the default theme. You can use the arrows on the Include Style Sheet File toolbar to reorder the style sheets. Click Finish. The report now has the blue header and alternating blue and white rows in the data fields as specified in the blue theme style sheet. Let's create a new style sheet by changing this one. In the Report Canvas, click the Full Name Data field. Hold the control key down and click the product name and revenue data fields. Notice that all three data fields are highlighted. Click the appearance tab. In the style group, click background color. In the color dialog box, select the white box. The data fields now have a white background. This is a manual override of the template style for the data fields. Let's save this by creating a new style sheet. Click the report tab. In the Style group, click Save Theme. In the File Name field of the Save As dialog box, type Test Style and click OK. The new style has been saved. Now, let's replace the existing style sheet with a different one. In the Style group, click Change Theme. In the Open File dialog box, select the Predefined Template Files folder. Select Enria Olive Rounded Theme.sty and click OK. Once again, if the style sheet is not in the same folder as the report, the system prompts you to copy the style sheet to that folder. The report now has headers in teal over a white background as specified in the olive rounded theme style sheet. However, remember we entered a manual override of the style of the data fields in this report by making them white. Let's remove the manual override and use the data field style specified in the style sheet. Click the appearance tab. In the style group, Click Defaults. The data fields now appear with alternating white and teal rows, as specified in the Olive Rounded Theme Style Sheet. For more information on App Studio, see the App Studio Information Center or view the Help by pressing F1.